Hello, I'm Vedant, and I'll be walking you through an automated analysis of oil wells using well history data and well logs on the Hortonworks data platform. A well log follows the log ASCII standard, which is unstructured or semi-structured at best. So we start out by dumping these raw well logs for about 60,000 wells in the Hadoop distributed file system using basic web scraping techniques. Here's what a typical well log looks like. It contains two basic blocks of information, the metadata around the log, such as the different sensors it contains, the depth information, and other data around the field and casing. We extract that information from the header into a table with the location of the original file on HDFS. Here's what that looks like. It also contains the sensor mnemonics and their units of measurement partitioned by the well ID. After that, we parse through the second block of information, that is the readings of the curves, and store them in a separate table. So let's go see what that table looks like. This table contains the depth information, the sensors capturing event bits at a spacing of 5 feet, along with the actual readings of the individual mnemonics themselves. Having built this data set with all of the log information from all of the wells in a centralized repository that is HTFS, we then automate the extraction of meaningful data from these files and overlay schema on top of them. This approach allows us to make the data queryable, which means that we can use ANSI SQL to look for interesting patterns in the data. We also take multiple other data sets describing an oil well in various different formats such as HTML, XML, CSV, etc., and dump them into HDFS to create a master table that captures a full story around any given well, such as auction history, rock formations, perforations, geolocation data, etc. Now to do the actual analytics, we first use a Yarn-ready Microsoft Business Intelligence package, which is a combination of Power BI and Power Maps to visualize geolocation data. This is what the master data set looks like. Using latitude and longitude locations, we can use maps and display metrics around the amount of oil and blowdown produced by any given well to date. Within minutes, we also generate charts around the amount of oil, as well as condensate being produced by each operator of the well across an entire geography. Now we come to the part of working with the actual log data itself. By running processing and cleansing on terabytes of information at the same time using the Hortonworks data platform, we can quickly normalize the values of the curves run quality checks, and chart multiple curves on a single graph. The graph that we use here is for demo purpose only and may be reflecting information for theoretically unrelated mnemonics. But in actuality, a petrophysicist would use this technology to compare gamma ray curves, porosity, resistivity, and other mnemonics based on classical models built over decades of research. Using the HTP solution, a petrophysicist can build these curves simply by querying the tables that we showed in the beginning of this demo. We also use other yarn-ready applications such as Tableau to quickly query the data by working with visualizations, but letting Hadoop APIs do the actual interpretation and processing before returning the results back to the application. So let's sort and bucket wells by enhanced oil recovery measures and borehole type. You just saw how we sorted through a few million records in just a matter of seconds.
And to wrap up, let's see an animation of enhanced oil recovery data on all of the wells since the year 2000. To request a full working demo of our oil and gas application or more information around Hadoop and the Hortonworks data platform, please check out our website. Thanks for watching.